Hello everybody, this is Gaming Scott. Today we are taking a look at, and I believe playing through, a quick little game. This is called uh, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. Um, I believe this is a very quick little game. It's only 99 cents on Steam, one buck. Um, but I believe it's a kind of a psychological horror thing is, is what it was tagged on, or some sort of thing. Uh, but I think the description says you just kind of help someone out uh, doing everyday stuff like buying milk or whatever. Um, so, you know. Help me buy milk. You know what? I think I will. Okay. Write down my name. We'll do that, shall we? I'm on my way to the store, rehearsing the speech. I haven't been out for so long that I've forgotten what words they say when they enter the store. I'm on my way to the store. Who are you talking to? I imagine being a game character. What if it helps to gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games in which you can see characters' thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought, if someone reads my thoughts, then I have to be really concentrated as, so as not to whip up the extra. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm deeply breathing in. Hello, can I... Damn, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lips with annoyance. So, once again... Hello, can I get... Wow, a whole world, a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying really hard. In my opinion, this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think this is it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Oh, I better keep my lips sealed. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on asphalt and your right foot on grass for a whole minute. What? My right leg froze in the air. H how much? 50 steps on asphalt and 51 on grass. You will have to cancel the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine? This is not the first time. You were taught how to do it. Come on. I, I don't remember. I'm going to burst into tears. Oh, from the beginning, so. Step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly into your own trail. Wait, wait, how is it step one? What then? So, it's already the 52nd, but what? Wait, if I'm going backwards, and 50th. It still doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, okay, step 50th. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your trail. Could you paraphrase it at least a little? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes an hour, so you'll be very, very guilty if you do not buy milk. Damn, really? So, are you ready? Yes, yes. I gently change the position of the leg, peering carefully into the thick grass. Picture change. I entered the store. I asked the very first person I met. Hello, can I... Is that a bird? Oh. Oh. Excuse me, what... Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh, what if I type O? Oh, zero? Is it a zero? Shift O, zero, enter. <gasps> I did it. You'd better not to do it. He is clearly not going to change his lines. You run the risk of falling into an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 
Excuse me, what? Oh, it's larger. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What is so terrible about it? I have a frightening image as soon as I imagine it. I can show, explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind that it'll cost me a dozen of my nerve cells. Nothing like that. So, I'll just keep on ignoring his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all the will into a fist. Oh? Oh! I had got an achievement unlocked. Oh! My inter interlocutor shook and crawled. You just repeated after him. And it worked! Do it more often. Wait, I said that he crawled, but did he really crawl? Because I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Yeah, just now. Personally, I did not hear. <clears throat> You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the shelves there are bags of milk. The two of us are standing. And milk lies? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you came? To buy milk. So, bye. Right here? How, in your opinion, should I reply? Hmm, I suppose something like, not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash desk. I guess the first sentence. And you like for spite? Like, for spite didn't make a pause before the second one. Want to take away all my small victories? I sigh and pull my hand to take milk, or rather, a bag of milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside... <gasps> reception! Reception! Fifteen minutes before store closing, hurry up! I remembered what these games are called, visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, in letters. Are visual novels worth some books? But authors are not lazy there. You don't be lazy, too. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your language. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or there'll be no or there'll be no good at home. Already running. Hello, c c can I g g get milk, please? Hello? Eyeballs? You have it. Ah. Give. I put out a weighty bag at the pay desk. Of course, not just a bag, but milk, too. Hello, can I get it back, please? No. Please! No! But please, Mom will throw me out the window if I do get back without milk. No! But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Pay for milk. Ha <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I pull a crumpled cash out of my pocket and give it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. About two days have passed before he nodded satisfactorily and put a cash in the machine. Two days? The store closed in 15 minutes. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm walking down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly pulls away my hand, reminding me of the times I took physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the pay machine, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk inside another bag. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I just like the pyramidal structure of the verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thanks for your interest. I feel like a mile of ice cream. 
What's that supposed to mean? As if I tell you... Well, I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. I agree, it's not the tastiest ice cream unless you want to drink more than you eat. So, the way from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the way from the gas station to home is ice cream. For today's walk, my body will be in every part of this way. Simple maths. Okay. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt, grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move on something as uneven as the urban plane? Neat heel sock. I count every meter of the way I've gone. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Oh! I unconsciously take a sharp step aside. At the same moment, a huge bear sweeps past me with a wild ripple. Hey, I'm walking! I'm throwing a stumbling peek at the rapidly moving animal. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their head? You might have died. Come on, are you saying someone will seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? The world is cruel and dangerous. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Walking. My path continues. If you think about it, the way from the store has one intersecting property. In the most bizarre ways, it adjusts to me. When I hurry, all the traffic lights are servicefully extinguished. When I want to cry, a cloud appears and pours rain flows and hide my tears. Right now, I feel how the cloud is slowly gathering over my top. I'm sad. Are you really sure all this is really happening? And how else? Have you never been visited by the idea that all this is only in your head? The instruction did not say that at all. Apparently, these pills don't work on me either. Pills have nothing. Please, I just want to go home and go to bed. I am really, really grateful to you, but please, no more. Okay, sorry. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading it right now. As you say, I squeeze my head with the hands and set a thought block. With the edge of my eye, I notice a small bench, a great place for cliched visual novel monologues. I'm getting closer, putting a noticeably heavy bag of milk nearby and raising my head to the sky. Ah, uh, yes, a bench. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I understand I'm going crazy. Drugs are working less and less effectively, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Line. Sure. I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you. Please. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Repeat. I will be honest with you, and I expect the same from you. Can you repeat... Yes. Really? I must be quite unlike an exemplary protagonist, right? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now I need a lot of effort just to distinguish letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I wouldn't like to say my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me as I am. Even if I made you up, don't take it away from me, okay? Don't ask me about too much. How stupid is all this? From the very beginning, you followed me, read my delusional thoughts, heard my stupid conversations. Maybe I seem crazy and weird to you? Haha. <laughs> what is it like to see the world with my eyes? Ever since <laughs> something happened, I only see red everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I've been used, used to it for a long time. To be honest, I even forgot what other colors look like. Let it go. Haha. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all because I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think they're the ones who are scared. Can you imagine it? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Do you promise? I promise. I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't not to ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have raised this topic. 
So you're really wondering what happened to me? Ah, uh, yes, a close-up of a bench. I won't take time. What do you see? Red? Are you sure? One way or another, this is my dad. Are you sure about that? Some of his parts, at least. Alright, if it's some of his parts, I can see that then, I guess. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I would never have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. In general, he threw himself out of the window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've been able to buy something from a store without a serious incident. Of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more of your merit. I was thinking all the time, do not screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a character in a visual novel for the sake of going to the store today, but it has clearly borne fruit. Thank you. By the way... I think there are some frameworks in our communication. That's how I like it. Ha ha. And yet, I'm so sad lately. I think more and more about what my life has become ever since Dad. Well, you understand. Day after day is the same. I've tried so many pills that I can't feel the difference between them anymore. As long as they keep me on my feet, I'm happy. Ha ha. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. I want to tell you so much. It was very rude of you. Oh, no. I will not press you. I just advise you, go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, let's go. stop on my floor and hang by the railing, repeating this action every day like a ritual. I stop being afraid of heights. A few minutes ago, the pills finally came to naught, so I'm just enjoying blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Did you bring milk? Hi, Mom. I don't like Mom. Did you bring milk? Yes, Mom. Don't show Mom again. Honestly, the first time I came up, my heart uh, was it was it raced for a few seconds. I was like, I don't, I don't enjoy this. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mum. Go to bed. Yes, Mum. And that's milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. There are three trophies. I unlocked two of them. I think there are secret... I think they might be all secret trophies. Uh, but I think there are a couple endings for this game. Maybe just two. I don't know. More than one. Store page. The description, a short story about what sort of challenges everyday little things can be. Help the girl buy milk. Be the first to not to disappoint her. Short duration. Authentic audio solutions.
Um, let me look up the trophies real quick. Milk inside a bag of milk. Uh, trophies. Yeah, I got two of the three. One trophy is called O. The other is called Milk Bot. I assume another one is a, uh, maybe a bad ending. Yeah, not this time is the other one. Maybe there's just two endings, good and bad. O and Milk Bot is where you get the good ending. You can achieve this by being nice and understanding of the player character, but below, not this time, is unlocked when you get the bad ending. You have to be mean to the character when you give it multiple options for responses. Um, so yeah, that's a, it's a quick little game, visual novel, help help a little girl buy some milk for her mom. Uh, thank y'all for watching. It was definitely. Uh, I, I did not like the ending scene. I don't like mum. Um, thank you all for watching. Again, it's 99 cents. I will, I will play the other ending. Um, but this was, this was interesting for sure. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment. Why not subscribe as well? It's greatly appreciated and it's free. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. See you.